Hey everybody, it's Harry from Silver Daddy Barbecue. Today you are in for a treat. We're going to be doing an unboxing of the Griller Grills Silverback Pellet Cooker. I want to say a shout out and thanks to Gary Fannin, one of my YouTube subscribers, who has a silverback and he loves it. He saw me post some videos on me cooking on some pellet grills, doing some reviews. So he said, Harry, why don't you try the Silverback? It's a fantastic pellet cooker. He was kind enough to hook me up with Dominic. So Dominic, thank you so much from Gorilla Grills. Dominic sent me a complimentary Silverback model SB700. So we're going to do three things today. We're going to do a unboxing, a burn-in, and a quick first impression cook. Installation is pretty easy. They even provide you with your tools and all the fastenings. It doesn't look terribly complicated. You can see from the unboxing, it was a pretty straightforward unboxing and uh, the parts came about pretty easily. I have the main body here. We have some of the black panels that will go on to the base. We've got some of the uh, other stainless steel items here. So let's get started. It's always good to read the manuals first, but if you're like me, you know, no self-respecting Mail will bother to read the manual, so we'll just kind of muddle through this and look at the pictures and see what happens. It doesn't look too complicated. Uh, I think a little bit easier than even assembling the Weber EX6 smoke fire, but uh, we'll see how we can put this thing together. Go, go, your, more, your, oh, yeah. your fingers. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. I know, I know. My fingers. Okay. Line it all up here. Okay, I have a helper. Say okay. hi, Riley. Hello. My Paduan from next door neighbor. <laughs> okay. Okay, so okay, now we gotta line up the bolts, right? Okay. again the auger is uh, starting up all right I had a mishap starting it up the first time because I guess I pressed the power button twice you only needed to press it just once to turn the igniter on so you can see the igniter is on now it's starting to smoke and uh, turn the unit on once it's starting to smoke you can go ahead and put the uh, firebox back Be a little bit smoky, it's okay. It starts up okay. Let's set the temperature up a little bit here 250 first, we stabilize, and then we'll take it to 450 for about uh, 45 minutes. All right, it's up to temp. I'm gonna take it to 450 degrees and then we'll let it burn for 45 minutes and get our seasoning run done. And we can do our very, very first cook on it. Everything looks good, let it burn, burn off all the manufacturing residue and oils and get ready for our very first cook. Okay, the pit is up to temp, about 450-ish, and uh, it's settling at 460 now. It's puffing nicely. We're gonna let this run for about 45 minutes to do a seasoning run before we begin our very first cook on the Silverback 700. I foiled my heat shield here so that it aids in cleanup. Another tip I can show you is to put some foil pans in there. Put a couple of shallow foil pans here. And you want to get it to the point where it'll clear the grate. Let's see how we can fit this. We are going to test the grill now to see how evenly it cooks. I have it at currently at 225 right here. 
I got a uh, few tortillas. I'm gonna go check it out and see how evenly it's spaced out. So I'm gonna lay out a few. See how which one burns first at uh, 225. See if there's any hot spots that we can notice here. All right, let's set the timer, see when it starts to burn. It's been about 30 minutes, so let's take a look now at the uh, tortillas. They look pretty good. This one seems to be quite well done. So very even heating, uh, no major issues, maybe just a tad hotter on this side, but uh, they all look pretty good. Nothing's burnt at 225. So very, very even temp, so that's a good sign. That was a 225 test, so let's now test it at a higher temperature. A lot of people like to cook kind of uh, crispy skin like Costco style chicken. So I'm going to go run it at around 350 to see if I can get an even cook on this Griller Grill Silverback. Okay, uh, before we uh, do that, let's talk about how to increase the temperature. This is a super simple unit to use because it's essentially a one button deal. Here's the on off switch. You press it once and the unit comes on and you do nothing else. Once the unit is uh, up to temp, you can set it to whatever temperature you want. I'm gonna take it now to 350 and it's in five degree increments, which is really good. All right, so that's 350, it's warming up. Now, uh, if you look here on the probe, uh, I don't use a probe, but there is a, a little gap here that you can stick the probe, temperature probe that is provided into your meat. Uh, I'd rather use a thermal pen or use a bamboo skewer But if you want to check your meat temperature the probe goes in through here You plug it into this port and then you press this button here probe. It will read you the temperature on the dial This Grilla grills does also have two modes one is kind of a mode with more smoke and from the website that I checked out uh, It basically creates a kind of a temperature gradient going up and down as you cook uh, with the theory that it provides more smoke. In future cooks, I'll test that mode out to see I'll cook one piece of meat using the regular mode 1 and using the mode 2 which is they call it the pro smoke mode where the temperature kind of dips up and down throughout the cook. So right now to tell what mode I'm on, I hold the mode button down and you can see it, it's now gone to the 2. I press it again, it, it goes back to the left outside here on this red little dot here if you didn't see let me try it again here hold it down it jumps to two and then if you hold it down again for two seconds it jumps to one okay so that's mode one i'm in now because the dot is between the two and then five okay i press it again It goes between the 6 and the O. So that tells you the two modes. A little primitive, but you know, it's effective if you know what you are doing. All right, for our 350 temp check, let's go ahead and uh, lay out our tortillas again. I'm laying it between the uh, heat baffle itself. Try not to go over the edge. Uh, not a good idea. We really don't want to try to exceed the uh, design parameters of the engineers who designed this. All right, looks pretty good. This is a 350 degree test on mode one. We've been running at 350 for about 15 minutes. Let's see how the tortillas are doing. All right, so um, you can tell where the hot spots are, kind of like around here, the outer edge here. The inside still looks okay. It's a little bit burned. A little bit of hot spot on this end here, maybe on this edge. Yeah, back is okay. It's okay here. So all in all, uh, very impressive, uh, very even. So I don't see any major problems with this. So now that we've done our temperature test, we're ready now to go ahead and uh, cook something, do our first cook on the Grilla Grills Silverback. We've loaded up the Silverback with our first cook. We're gonna cook a bunch of chicken and uh, see how the uh, Silverback does. We're gonna do it at 325 degrees. Been an hour and 20 minutes. I think uh, we are ready to pull. Check the temperature here 179, 167, 179, 180, 188, 178, 181. All ready to go. 
Alright, the shutdown sequence, you just press the button again, hold it down, and it goes to C5, which is 5 minute shutdown, C4, C3, and so on. My first cook on the Gorilla Grill Silverback Alpha went really well. The chicken was uh, perfectly cooked and uh, no major issues with the unboxing, the burning as well as the temperature test. It cooks pretty evenly. I have a lot of oil from the pan here so if you have a tip here, put a pan underneath to get some of the oil so you don't have so much uh, problems with the uh, oil cup. Notice my oil cup is empty and uh, it's not that hard to clean. The unit does not come with the oil cup, it comes with a cage, so just go ahead to Home Depot and get yourself a cup. If not, you can use a soup can and go ahead and put it into the cage. To recap, Griller Grills was uh, founded by Dave Schiedler and Mark Graham as a head engineer in 2012. They have come a long way and uh, they have a great reputation of uh, the uh, pits. The Alpha 2 dual mode controller is something I will test in part 2. To see the extra smoke pro setting works better than the regular precise temperature setting. What you're not aware in here is that there is a little bit of a double wall design inside. Not exactly sealed double wall but at least it's a double wall design so that will help if you are cooking in a very cold climate. It does have a 4 year warranty and uh, I believe that's better than the competition. Price is around $800 so that's uh, you know pretty hefty price to pay but still a lot cheaper than some of the other competitors out there. And uh, it came with uh, the uh, pellets, the Gorilla Grills pellets. You get a bag of pellets. Also, you get some of their rub. And uh, I got a little baseball cap also, thanks to uh, Dominic. I wanna thank Gorilla Grills for giving me the opportunity to try their Silverback Alpha. Super nice cook and looking forward to cooking on it again. We're gonna be doing more torture testing cooking like briskets and uh, throwing everything at it, including trying out the uh, mode number two for the small smoky professional setting. So until the next video, we will see ya. Please tune in for part two, come posting soon.